this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about a prepper group meetup. New group forming. Um, it is called, well, just kind of in the meantime, it's being called South Sound Viking Network Group. So, I don't know if you guys know, I'm sure most of you guys know about Pastor Joe and Viking Preparedness. Um, if you're not on his Patreon, you, I forget if you're aware, I'm sure you're aware of Viking Network. I think he, I'm pretty sure he's talked about it on YouTube, but uh, it's basically him not trying to control things, but trying to encourage people to form groups, form teams, mags, mutual assistance groups, tribes, he calls them crews, uh, Viking Networks, getting together and forming what he calls crews, um, groups, same thing. He just wants to encourage people to get together and have these groups, have people that you can rely on, have people that you can trust and work with. Like I've talked about a lot, you know, having things like this, a good group of people, is vital. Because if you don't, you know, being a lone wolf is not an option for me. Some people it may be, but... So South Sound Viking Network, because there is a uh, Puget Sound Viking Network, uh, but that's kind of North Sound. That's up north. And for those of us that live in the South Sound area or on this side of the Puget Sound, um, it's difficult with timing, almost impossible to uh, get to the meeting because the meetings are held on Sundays. And by the time church is over, come home, get, you know, change, get the kids rounded up and then head out on, on the road for another for a two hour plus drive is difficult so we're going we're to kind of do a little split off of that group and it's just we're just going to use the Viking Network name just kind of as a, as a general term. Have a get together, um, date to be determined in February, uh, probably middle of the month-ish, uh, email me for more information, uh, asymmetricalpreparedness at gmail.com. And I will get information to you as soon as we have a little more information as far as a time and a place and stuff like that. Um, and if you're in the area. If you're within driving distance of, say, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be like the Shelton area or if it's going to be the Tacoma area. I'm not sure. Somewhere, probably Mason County area or Pierce County area. Uh, but anyway, so let me know what you think. Let me know how many people are interested, and we just basically want to, the first meeting is just going to be a, a get-together, get to know people, uh, say hi to everybody, uh, know each other's names, uh, you know, start the dating process <laughs> of vetting each other and stuff like that. So I encourage you guys, if you live in this area, to try to attend this meeting uh, just so we can get together, meet each other, uh, and start the process. And even if you got to drive a little ways, you know, come because we can, you know, we can split again, just like this uh, uh, group from the, you know, guys up north, starting down here south. Um, the the idea is to get these groups started as as all over the place, as many of these groups started in as many locations as possible. And if the when the group grows, split, and then you know, form new groups until those grow, then split. You know, that's how anything grows, any kind of movement grows, grassroots, real people in the meat world. Um, so, and have, you know, meet and greets first, and then start talking about training and what skill sets people have, um, who's willing to do what. Um, start laying the groundwork. And, you know, this meeting may not be the group for you, but maybe you meet another person, or maybe because the, the distance you got to travel, or I don't know, whatever the reason is. But but say you you know so you don't come, so then you don't meet anybody. But if you come, even if it's a long longer distance for you, maybe you meet somebody else that also drove a longer distance from your area, and you could be like, oh hey, you're here, you know, and then oh yeah, I heard about some one other person that's lives down there, so they'd be interested also in this other person, and then you would be like, oh yeah, I know one other person too. And then you say, okay, well, let's start this whole thing going in our area. Four people, that's plenty to start. 
Uh, that's that's plenty. Two or three. I mean, shoot, that's that's something to get started on at least. Um, but getting started, just like I talk about in working out, getting started is the big thing. So, yeah, I encourage you guys to come if you can. Um, and if you live up north, uh, like Seattle area and or north, email me, asymmetricalpreparedness at gmail.com, and I will give you contact information, put you in contact with those guys so you can get with them. Um, if, say, you have the availability to go to all the meetings in all the different areas of the state, great, go for it. But try to get with the people that are lo most local to you. Let's spread this thing. Let's grow this thing. Let's, uh, you know, get this thing rolling. Let's get people into groups. Let's start helping people form groups. You know, it's one of the hardest things people deal with. So the more assistance we can give each other in forming these groups and getting these things going on and empowering each other, and building each other up so that we're all better off in an SHTF scenario, then that's a good thing. The better all of us will be off. Because the, le the, the fewer number of people out there that are desperate in an SHTF scenario, the better for all of us. Because it's less desperate people we're going to have to deal with. So let's empower each other. Let's get this going. So email me. Comment below if you have any information or you, you know just want to talk about it. Um, or email me, like I said. Uh, I love you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, share the videos, comment below. Blessings to you and yours.